Hey guys, you are watching Mentoring Engineering Design and this is where we left off last time. We were we made this helical helical extension spring and helical compression spring or helical expression spring whatever we can change the pitch. And this is the surface tool here. You can just move it upward and you can suppress the tools and you can also do this to see how, how someone modeled an, an object. So what other type of springs can you model in SOLIDWORKS? Let's see. Okay, we have this variable pitch option here. In this option, you can you can provide different pitches at different heights. It, this is the pitch at zero millimeters, and if you want the pitch to be ten millimeters at height thirty nine, this is how you can do it. And Similarly, you can keep on adding different pitches at different heights or revolutions. So as, as I have selected the pitch and revolution here, so I will have to provide pitch and revolution. If I change this to height and revolution, I can change the height and revolution here. So this was the variable pitch. You can make a variable pitch spring by using this, this option variable pitch here. For now we will go with this constant pitch and let's see what, what else can we do. So you see this taper helix icon here, you can make conical springs by using this taper helix. Just click on this and provide the angle you want the taper to be. And if you want it outwards, just click outwards. And this is you can this is how you can make an a conical spring which are usually used where the spring rate is increasing by load. So, and here we go. This is the conical spring. I will unsurpress this, and you can have this conical spring here. Now, for uh, making a spiral spring, you will just have to edit feature on this helix and spiral and change this to spiral. Now, we have this spiral thingy here. We can also change the pitch for this and decrease the pitch or increase the pitch or increase the revolutions. And these are the strings which are mostly used in toys. You, you might have saw some of these in some children toys there. So I will check this and I'll again. And and what I did for this. I made this rectangle shape here on the end of this spiral we can we can also give some dimension here let's make it 0.5 and oh it's it's not 1.5 0.5 and give it some length let's let's give this three millimeters and now we are good to go let's just check this and now we have this spiral spring so this is this is how you can make different type of springs in SOLIDWORKS. I hope you have learned something guys and see you. Okay, bye.